Broadcasting from the deserts of sunny Arizona, you're listening to I've Got a Plan, hosted by Tim Fiskus, a podcast focusing on the two-player experience of Arkham Horror the card game. Join me as I take two investigators through a campaign, stopping along the way to talk tactics, strategy, and whine about the whims of the chaos bag. Let's have fun. Welcome back to the Miskatomic Museum. Uh, this is the return to the Dunwich Legacy. Skids O'Toole and Daisy Walker taking on the mythos through the return to Dunwich Legacy uh, campaign. Uh, we have uh, successfully made it through the return to the Clover Club, uh, which is the uh, House Always Wins, and the return to extracurricular activities, uh, netting ourselves a total of five XP in the process. Uh, our run of extracurricular activities was pretty uneventful, uh, and they uh, seemed to style that one out pretty well. Uh, I ended up with two XP after that scenario, and today we're heading into the Miskatonic Museum for the greatly improved return to the Miskatonic Museum. I like the changes they made in this one a lot, particularly clarifying the rule that uh, the hunting horror gets stronger when the agendas are flipping, and also adding a little bit more a danger to the hunting horror. It is the only enemy in the scenario. So to keep the pressure on the investigators, I like the fact that he does become a real force to reckon with. So you need to be planned for that and have uh, something uh, to be able to manage either evading it and moving around or just flat out dealing with it uh, to be able to, uh, fingers crossed, get the book at the end, which Daisy would greatly like to have. So, um, you know, they say in Arkham, you always burn the book, but uh, this time Daisy's coveting it. I think I would only like to, try, like to try a run where Daisy keeps it. So we'll get to that point when we get there. Uh, but for now, let's talk a little bit about the changes to, this, to, the, to the decks. I only had two XP to play with, so uh, I have made a couple minor changes. Skids O'Toole has added uh, two copies of the Ace of Swords to the deck. Uh, the Ace of Swords is one of the new tarot cards, and this is going to get him some uh, static uh, fight boost to be able to help him out uh, as a, a combat specialist. Hopefully I can get this thing going early. Uh, at, it would be great if I could get it in my starting hand, but between that and the Beat Cop, um, that will give me a plus two, and then my gun's giving me another plus one, so I've got a little bit of a potential combat bonus going there for Skids, who sits only at three base combat. And uh, Daisy, into her deck, has added another copy of De Vermis Mysterious. Uh, I felt like uh, if I'm going to play this thing with the Mythos Busters way, this is what they planned on for these decks. So De Vermis Mysterious, uh, uh, copy number two is now in the deck, and I can free to just, just feel free now to start uh, styling the deck out the way I want to do it after getting those two in there. I'm excited to try this card out. Um, uh, in order to make room for him, I have pulled out a David Renfield um, and I am replacing David Renfield uh, for no cost with uh, Dr. Henry Armitage, who has joined our party uh, as a result of Armitage's fate, the interlude. So um, I, th I think Dr. Henry Armitage is a good substitute for uh, David Renfield, uh, at least for now. Uh, I still have one copy of David Renfield in there, and I will probably pick up a Charisma before too long. The Dunwich uh, Legacy um, and the Return to Dunwich Legacy are no different in the fact that you're going to want a Charisma before all uh, before it's all said and done, and sometimes even two Charismas. Uh, there's just a lot of allies to pick up and a lot of good allies to put in your deck to begin with. So let me go ahead and shuffle these decks up while we uh, set the stage here for the Return to the Miskatonic Museum. Uh, we start uh, at the museum entrance. Skids and Daisy are hanging out at the museum entrance. And uh, I have added no tokens to the bag. So we have our standard bag um, uh, plus, plus nothing. We have the, just the standard bag. I did not cheat in the house always wins. And uh, um, so far I have not had to add any, anything else to the deck. Uh, that will likely not make its way through this scenario, but we'll see. Um, the... Uh, we have started in the museum entrance, and we are trying to get into the museum. We can get there by investigating a couple clues off of the uh, entrance with three shroud, or we can um, fight our way in with a five uh, strength test, although nobody really looks too great to be able to do that. 
to knock down the door. So we might be recruiting the assistance of Adam Lynch to be able to help us get inside. And uh, then we are uh, from the uh, museum entrance, we'll be heading into the museum halls where we can then uh, find more locations attached to the museum halls. Trying to find the restricted area is the um, goal of the scenario. Uh, the museum halls has two preset locations attached to it, the security office and the administration office, and those are randomized uh, one of two choices at the beginning of the game. I just picked them at random and I don't know what they are. I also have over here the purple sleeves you can see is the um, essentially the exploration deck for the scenario. All of the museum halls locations and those have also been ram uh, randomized. I'm choosing a uh, uh, opaque backed sleeve because I did not get the um, extra replacement cards for this. They made a couple unfortunate printing errors in this set uh, where they did not uh, make the backs of cards that were supposed to look identical look identical. So you have to use sleeves to um, help solve that problem. Totally minor minor inconvenience, doesn't bother me at all, but it does add a, one extra step to the uh, setup of the scenario. But these are truly randomized. I have no idea what I'm up against. Uh, Daisy and Skids are both starting with no trauma and five uh, cards and five XP. So let's go ahead, or five uh, uh, resources, also five XP. Five, five, five. And the our first agenda, restricted access, has a doom threshold of, you guessed it, five. So um, this says, Dr. Armitage has given the university's Latin translation of the Necronomicon to his associate, Harold Walstead, the curator of the Miskatonic University Museum. Worried that someone might still be after the book, you have gone to the museum to recover it. Forced, when the hunting horror enters play, atta attach the set-aside copy of Shadow Spawn to it or add a resource to Shadow Spawn if it's already attached. And that's the method by which the hunting horror grows larger as you go along. At the beginning, he's not in play, but uh, he might come into play as soon as, who knows, the first turn, could be possible. And to find a way inside, we're gonna need two clues. So, or we're gonna need to bust the door down with a, a fist punch. The background of the Miskimatonic Museum reads as follows. Several months ago, Armitage and his colleagues stopped a rampaging horror from tearing through Dunwich, a backwater town several hours north and west of Arkham. As you first imagine this beast as a rabid bear, or worse, but the professor's description of the creature paints a different picture. It all began when a man named Wilbur Waitley entered the Orne Library looking for Olaus Wormius's Latin translation of a book called the Necronomicon. Wilbur already possessed a beaten up translation by Dr. John Dee, but it was insufficient for his purposes. Armitage turned the man away, fearing what use the strange man had for the book. Waitley returned in secret, hoping to steal the book, but was attacked by a hound guarding the university. Armitage, Rice, and Morgan later discovered Waitley's body. A description of the foul corpse, semi-anthropomorphic and covered in fur with a leathery hide and greenish-gray tentacles, caused you to question, question whether or not Waitley was truly human. My colleagues and I were quick to put the ordeal behind us, Armitage says with a sigh, but it seems that things finally, ha that things haven't fully resolved themselves. I'll tell you the rest later, but for now, it is imperative that we get our hands on that copy of the Necronomicon. If my instincts are correct, the assailants you've encountered will be searching for it. After all that transpired, I didn't feel safe keeping it at the library, so I brought it to my good friend, Harold Walstead. He is the cur current curator of the Miskatonic Museum, I thought it would be safe in the museum's restricted hall, but now I'm not so sure. You must retrieve it at all costs. I fear terribly what they could do with the rights contained in its pages. All right. So we have to find the Necronomicon at all costs. Daisy says, I agree with that. And we're off. So let's draw some starting hands. Uh, skids has a starting hand of one, two, three, four, five cards. And his starting hand is Scene of the Crime, Enchanted Blade, Flashlight, Vicious Blow, and Hospital Debts, which is his weakness, so that'll get set aside. And uh, take the initiative. Okay, well, 
The Flashlight and the Enchanted Blade are both really good starting cards for this scenario, so I'll be happy to take those two. Um, seeing that the Crime is not going to be very useful in this scenario, so I'm going to toss that back. Um, take the Initiative, I'll try to draw that a little later. And Vicious Blow, I think I'll also try to draw a little later. I wanna, I'd like to get a Lone Wolf going, uh, or maybe one of my um, ta uh, tarot cards. So let's draw three more cards. One, two, three. We've got a guard dog, a watch this, and a lone wolf. Okay, not bad. Didn't get the tarot, but hopefully I'll have the cash to play that later. And then let's shuffle everything else back in. So I want to get the lone wolf down pretty much, uh, maybe the, by the second or third turn. Uh, I, we're going to be together probably for the first round. I might, eh, if Daisy can get in the front door, which she's pretty good at finding clues, then I might go ahead and uh, get a lone wolf down and play the first turn. Um, but I'll definitely want to get that flashlight into play pretty soon so that uh, Skids can go on his own way with investigating, at least at first. All right, and then Daisy's starting hand. One, two, three, four, five cards. And Daisy is looking at Premonition, Crack the Case, I've Got a Plan. Hmm, that will be very handy in this scenario. Mind Over Matter and St. Hubert's Key. Okay, well, I'm happy with that starting setup. Uh, I am at a three shroud location, so why don't I keep the Crack the Case because that's a fast uh, emergency cash, and I can give some of the cash to, to uh, Skids, actually. Um, and then I will also keep the St. Hubert's Key for a little bit of a boost, and I'll keep the I've Got a Plan because I want to make sure I see that by the end of this scenario. Um, the ability to use the clues on that I'm collecting to power through a uh, kill, on an instant kill on the hunting horror will definitely be worth, uh, worth my while. I'll take the premonition and the mind over matter and I'll toss them back in the hopes that I get myself a, a tome of some sort. So let's go ahead and draw two cards here. And we've got an archaic glyphs and a mind over matter. All right, well, the mind over matter was going to be in my hand either way. Uh, the archaic glyphs, um, I have to get rid of essentially three cards with, with intellect icons on them to end up getting five resources since I've already translated the glyphs. But I don't... Uh, I don't really have too much of a need for five resources right off the bat. So we'll see how that feels like as I'm playing it. So let's go ahead and reshuffle these back in. All right. All I need is two clues to advance um, to act 1B. And Daisy and, and uh, Skids are sitting right on those two clues. So I'm not going to try to bully my way in. I didn't draw any cards that would be helpful for that anyway. So, And it won't hurt to get the clues. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I will keep uh, Daisy's turn pretty simple. I'll start with Daisy, and she's going to go ahead and play a St. Hubert's Key. Let's go ahead and get that stat boost in play right away. And that's going to take her willpower up to four and her intellect up to six. So let me go ahead and mark those. So that is pretty potent. And then I will go ahead and investigate the entry hall. Uh, by the way, the um, tokens in the Miskatonic Museum, we're looking at a minus one for the skull, uh, minus three if the hunting horror is there. Uh, the single cultist in the deck is a minus one, and you don't want to fail that one. And we don't yet have any tablets or elder things in the bag. So uh, pretty uh, not, not a bad bag in this scenario either, at least to start. So uh, let's go ahead and investigate at six to three. And my first investigation turns up a minus one. So we are looking at a clue there. And then my second investigation at six to three. turns up uh, minus three. Okay, minus three. So that is still a success since I played the St. Hubert's Key. So there's, there's the two clues. Um, I will uh, go ahead right now and play Crack the Case. I have cleared off a three-shard location 
it is a fast card and I can go ahead and distribute three resources um, among the, the two of us. So that's a pretty nice thing to start with. Let's see, how, how much does Skids need some bonus resources? Um, always good for extra turns, of course. And Daisy's uh, hand is pretty cheap right now. I'm gonna give two to Skids and one to Daisy. So Skids can have a little cash flow right off the bat. All right, now let's go ahead and advance the act right away. Going to act 1B, gaining entrance. If the investigators spent clues to advance, you find the window nearest to the guard and tap it loud enough to get his attention. He gives a startled jump, then shifts open the window. Oh, what do you want? He asks timidly. You explain the situation to him and tell him he is in grave danger. He warily opens the front door to the museum, shaking his head. Oh, I wasn't even supposed to be here today. Choose an investigator to take control of the set-aside Adam Lynch asset. Okay, so I'm going to give Adam Lynch to Skids because Skids is much more likely to be hanging out in the, uh, near the, near the uh, security office. And we're going to try to protect him at all costs. So Skids is, has a little bit better protection for him as well. Uh, so yeah. He's going to take Adam Lynch. Adam Lynch does not have an ally symbol, so he doesn't take up any slots. And he has one health and one evade. And lets you use the security office for cheaper. All right. Reveal the museum halls. All right. The museum halls flip to reveal a two-shroud zero-clue location, which is attached to all copies of each, uh, each copy of the exhibit hall. Investigators in the museum halls spend two clues to put the top card of the exhibit deck into play. So that's how we're gonna get, the, get to where we're going is two clues spent in the museum halls. Uh, those are spent as a group. So as long as the, the uh, people in the museum halls have the clues between them, then you're fine. All right, advance to act 2A, night at the museum. All right, act 2A, night at the museum. The Necronomicon is being kept in the restricted hall somewhere in the museum. Adam barely knows his way around and gives a startled jump at every creak of the old building. I, I just started here last week, he explains. What sort of trouble did you say was going on? You haven't the heart to give him the full story. Objective, if, the if any investigator enters the exhibit hall, advance. A restricted hall, advance. All right, so we're trying to find the restricted hall, and that's the point of this, pretty much this whole scenario. So we are now free to enter the museum halls. Um, Daisy has taken her three actions and that leaves Skids free to go on in. So let's go ahead and do that. I will go ahead and play the Lone Wolf for one. I will move in for a second action. And I will play a flashlight. I'm out of, um, yeah, I am out of clues for as a team right now, so we're going to need to go check out the security office of the administration office. So I'll go ahead and play a flashlight for two. The flashlight comes with three supplies on it. And uh, then that way I'm ready for that. That's my third action. And I think I'm good with that. So I'll stop right there. Uh, enemy phase, we have nothing going on. That will be a thing I say a few times during this scenario. And we go to the uh, upkeep. So Skids will go ahead and uh, draw a card. Uh, another flashlight, all right, happy to see that. And I'll take a resource and I'll place one on Lone Wolf as a reminder. Let's go ahead and move this over here. And then Daisy will go ahead and draw a card. She draws logical reasoning. Okay, um, this can be nice for healing horror or uh, passing a horror test. Um, so I'll just hold on to that and I'll take a resource putting me at three. 
and we are on to our first mythos phase. All right. Uh, in the original uh, Miskatonic Museum, uh, this really wasn't a very dangerous scenario. With the lack of enemies, you could make it through pretty easily. That is not the case uh, with this scenario, so I do have to worry a little bit about this mythos phase for sure. So, uh, Skid's first pull is uh, Beyond the Veil. All right, I don't have any way to cancel that, so that's going to go into play in my threat area. I like to put it at the bottom of my deck just to remind me that if I run my, if I deck myself, then I'm going to take 10 damage. That probably would be bad. Skids doesn't draw through his deck too fast. And then that surges into Cursed Luck. Put Cursed Luck into play in your threat area. All right, you get minus one to your skills, and if you after you succeeded a skill test by one or more, discard it. All right, that's not the worst. And then Daisy is going to draw Passage into the Veil. Test Willpower 3. This test has plus two difficulty if the hunting horror is at your location. Okay, he is not. Uh, if you fail, you either discard the top five cards of your deck or take a damage and deal a damage to each of your allies. All right, well, she doesn't have any allies right now, but oh, she also only has five health, so I need to be careful about this. Um, I'll go ahead and just test this straight up at four to three. I'm not gonna commit the logical reasoning. And I've got a minus four. Glad I didn't commit anything. All right. I will choose to take a direct damage. If I had Adam Lynch, I would not do that. But uh, because I gave Adam Lynch to Skids, that's not that big of a deal. So I take a direct damage. I just can't do that very often. And that is that. Um, so we move on to the investigator phase. Okay. Okay. Well, Skids has a flashlight that's ready to go and um, a bit of cursed luck. I'll go ahead and grab my lone wolf resource and uh, head up to the security office. So the security office says, a plaque next to this doorway reads security. The door is ajar and inside you catch the scent of blood. Okay, um, this is a three shroud location with two clues and this is the one that reads two actions or one if you have Adam Lynch, look at the revealed side of an exhibit hall in play or the top card of the exhibit deck, limit once per turn. That's a super good action, by the way. Uh, very good for scouting so that you don't end up wasting your time uh, in museum halls you don't have any interest in being at. But importantly, that puts me at a three shroud location with four clues to be able to hopefully grab some of these clues. So, uh, action number one, I moved into the uh, security office. Action number two, I will go ahead and investigate the security office using a flashlight charge. That will drop the shroud to one. And my cursed luck takes my um, investigate also down to two. So I'm investigating this at two to one. Not great, but... It's not terrible either. All right, that's a minus two, so that's no good. That's a waste of a flashlight charge. Um, action number three, uh, I will do it again. Another flashlight charge. And let's go, uh, this is gonna be two to one. And I got a zero, that's what I needed. All right, very good. So that second flashlight charge was used accurately and I get a clue. I also uh, beat the cursed luck, so that's gone. And uh, let's see, do I want to do another action with skids? I've got some cash, I've got some lone wolf cash being generated. Yeah, let's, hmm. Uh, no, I'll save my money for now. Uh, let's go ahead and get Daisy going here. Um, We'll move Daisy in for her first action to the museum halls. Um, she has no clues, so she's also going to need to go exploring. I will send Daisy to the administration office. 
A sturdy, sturdy wooden door with a plaque next to it reads, Administration. In the hall outside the doorway, you see a row of paintings depicting the museum's many curators throughout the years, each adorned with their name and years of employment. Perhaps it's just your imagination, but they look more distressed in recent years. All right. So this is a, a location I suppose I should have sent skids to. One shroud with two clues. You cannot investigate this while you have four or fewer resources. All right, well, that's fixable. Uh, let's see. Two, two clues here and only one shroud. So I moved in there for my second action. And I only have three resources right now, so I cannot investigate that for my third action, which is fine. Um, so for my third action, let's just go ahead and draw a card. Ah, very nice. I drew a Mr. Rook. I have a feeling I'm going to be using him this game. I don't have any other allies, and I could use a little soak. Plus... That ability is pretty terrific. So that is the end of Daisy's turn. We're at the enemy phase. There are no enemies, and we're going to reset. All right. So Skids will draw a vicious blow. All right. Happy to see that. I'll take a resource and put one on Lone Wolf. And Daisy will reset and draw an Inquiring Mind. Okay. That's uh, pretty nice. Not right now. I don't need it, but I'll take it. And that'll put me at the fourth resource that I need to be able to investigate that administration office. And we're heading into the mythos phase. Doom on the agenda and two cards. Skids draws. Another cursed luck. Well, it's just going to be that kind of day, isn't it? All right. And uh, Daisy draws. Um, another passage into the veil. Okay, well, that's her second one of those. Uh, let's see, four to three on this one. I will commit the... Oh, I did just draw some soak. Nah, I'll just test it. Four to three. Save my, save my tests, uh, my icons for the big tests. Hey, I got a zero, very nice. Okay, so Daisy has passed that test, passed the passage, and then we're off to the investigation phase. Okay, so it's definitely gonna be time to get the, um, get the first museum hall act, uh, active here. So I would like for Skids to, uh, to do a lot of the legwork here. So let's go ahead and spend one more flashlight charge. And I'm investing, investigating this at two, uh, two to one, because of the first luck grumble. Okay, I got a minus one, so that's successful, but not successful enough to uh, discard the cursed luck. But I'll take the success either way. And that's two clues. All right, my flashlight is out of charges. But I got two out of three charges, two out of three clues on that, so that's not bad. Um, I will, that was action one. Action number two, I'm going to go ahead and use the security camera to look at the top card of the exhibit deck. And it is the Medusa exhibit. Ah, okay. This is a uh, victory one location, uh, and it is a two shroud with two clues on it, only two shrouded with two clues. If you fail a skill test while investigating, discard an asset you control. Okay, so this was, I'm glad I scouted this out because this is one that Skids can handle with his other flashlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave, leave Skids to that one. And then I'll, Daisy will follow behind to the next one. So Skids will go ahead and head out to the um, uh, museum halls. And, uh, oh, I grabbed a, grabbed a lone wolf resource at the beginning of the turn. And I'm going to go ahead and just spend uh, two actions, or two resources to get a fourth action, which I will use to um, uh, place the top card of the exhibit deck into play. 
So uh, that will cost me the two clues that I have to put that unrevealed location into play. And it is a one-way entrance right now, as far as we know. Uh, and I'm done with my turn with skids. Okay, and then Daisy, I want to grab a couple of clues up there with well, now that I have the four resources. So Daisy's investigating at six to one, so that's about as sure thing as you can get. Shouldn't have said that out loud. Uh, six to one gets me a minus two. Okay, that's going to get me a clue. I'll do it again at six to one. And that's a minus one. So Daisy grabs the two clues here in the uh, administration office and will spend her third action to hit the books and head down to the museum halls. So she will take on the next location after that. Okay, so that's the investigation phase and we're moving on to the enemy phase. Nothing happens and we reset. So Skids draws. An intel report. Oh, those are nice to have in this scenario. Um, I will hold on to that uh, like it's made of solid gold. That's the one that lets you buy clues. And I will take a resource and place one on Lone Wolf. All right, and then I will uh, draw with Daisy, and she draws uh, another Mr. Rook. All right, I suppose that's nice to have. He has a willpower icon, so that can be good as well. And I'll take a resource, putting me at five. Okay, so essentially in this scenario, you want to grab clues, you want to grab them fast, and you want to try to do as little that is not grabbing clues as you can possibly afford. So um, right now, I'm pretty happy where I'm at. I'm going to want to get a, um, a weapon into play with skids pretty quick, but I do have a little bit of evasion in hand, so in case the uh, hunting horror comes out, we have something. So, on to the mythos phase. Three doom of five and skids draws. Another beyond the veil. Okay, now that is uh, that does not happen because I already have one, so that's just a whiff, but I still have to surge. And I surge into visions of futures past. Test Willpower 5. For each point you fail by, discard the top card of your deck. Um, hmm. I do have Beyond the Veil, uh, and I also have Cursed Luck. So my chances of passing this is almost nothing, even with the help of Daisy. So I'll just tank this. So this is a test of 1 versus 5. And it's a minus 1. So... That is going to be the top five cards of my deck being discarded. So that is Dr. Francis Morgan. Hospital debts, happy to see that gone. A beat cop, a take the initiative, and a narrow escape. All right. And that's Visions of Futures Past for Skids. And Daisy draws. Oh, here's a new one. This is from the return. Night Beyond Void. Revelation, place one resource on Shadow Spawn, even if it is out of play. And this is a Victory Zero uh, treachery card, which is pretty unusual, so it just can't come back into the reshuffle. So I'm gonna uh, place that in the Victory display. I don't have any way to cancel it right now, unfortunately. And we will put one resource on Shadow Spawn, which I need to find. All right, so we'll go ahead and place Shadow Spawn right up here with a resource on it. All right, that will make the uh, hunting horror a little tougher the first time he shows up. So that's a little scary. But it is what it is, let's get moving. All right, investigation phase. Uh, I have um, no reason not to just go ahead and send skids on his way. So, um, mm, I do have a reason, because I would like to grab that lone wolf resource. So, Daisy will go first. She will spend her first action to place the next exhibit hall into play. 
whatever it is. We don't know what it is. Grab a location connector there. All right. And then she will move to that new location. Ah, this is the archives. All right. This is a this is one of the new ones, I think. It is. This is a five shroud location with zero clues. It has the ability to take two actions, gain two clues from the token bank. Then if hunting horror is in play, place one resource on Shadow Spawn. Otherwise, search the encounter deck, discard pile and the void for hunting horror and spawn it in the museum halls. Shuffle the, the encounter deck. Okay, so I think of this as grabbing clues if you're desperate. Um, I am not desperate. So I will probably just not do this. So let's go ahead for my third action. Let's see, I should be able to get another, should be able to keep it going. So for my third action, I'm going to play, what do I really want? I was thinking about playing Mr. Rook, but is there anything that I actually really want? What I really want is I really want Daisy looking for clues. So I'm just going to move back. I'm going to move Daisy back into the museum halls. All right, that really changed things. So Skids, on his turn, is going to move in to the Medusa exhibit, which, by the way, is connected to something, nothing we know of just yet. And that has uh, two shroud with two clues. Uh, I gave up on my lone wolf resource that turn because Daisy had shown back up again. And I am going to go ahead, just in order to save a little time here, I'm going to spend four resources, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to play Intel Report and just buy the two clues off of this location. All right, and then I'm going to move back into the museum halls. I could have played a flashlight there for two and then started investigating, but that's two resources anyway, so I'm just gonna spend the four and buy them. Ideally, you wanna buy those from a higher shroud location. Um, I could have also bought them from the security office. Ooh, in fact, I am gonna retcon that. I am gonna buy them from the security office. Let me grab those two clues and put them back in the exhibit hall. This was the one I had already scouted out, so I don't need to worry about that being a bit of a cheat, because it isn't. Uh, so Skids instead will, uh, for his first action, spend the four, play Intel report, and buy the two clues out of the security office. Um, and that will actually cost me six, I believe. Uh, yes, that will cost me six. So I'll play two more resources leaving me at one resource, but not worried about that right now. Uh, and I will buy those two clues for my first action off of the museum halls, or off of the security office. Then I will spend an, my second action to place the next exhibit hall into play spending those two clues. And that is right now a one-way connection. And I'm gonna relocate the museum entrance for right now. We're not gonna exit the museum, it doesn't look like. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right, and then for my third action, I will um, move into the uh, exhibit hall, the Medusa exhibit hall, which is two shroud with, with two clues. 
that's gonna let me uh, get better use out of my flashlight and um, keep the tempo going for Daisy because I need Daisy investigating, investigating, investigating. That also saves Skids from taking any tests with his cursed luck right now. All right, so that's the end of the investigation phase. A little bit of a weird one. Burned through a lot of Skids money, but that's what he's here for. And we will reset. All right, uh, Skids will draw an emergency cash. Boy, how about that for timing? Great. And I'll take a resource and put one on Lone Wolf. Well, that's, couldn't have dialed that up any better. And then Daisy will draw, ah, the Divermus Mysterious. Uh, I have not actually had a chance to play this. Aha, uh -huh. so exhaust Divermus Mysterious and place one Doom on it. Play a spell or insight event from your discard pile, reducing its resource cost by one. After that event resolves, remove it from the game. So you can get double use out of your uh, out of your events. So things like logical reasoning, I've got a plan, um, uh, mind over matter. I can get extra uses of, out of all those right now. So I will keep that in play or in, in my hand for now and take a resource, putting me at one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, Daisy's got a nice full hand of eight cards and she'll probably start discarding because what I wanna do is get moving. So that is the end of the investig of the uh, re upkeep phase. So we're going back to the mythos phase. Doom four of five on the agenda. Skids draws, stalked in the dark. All right, if hunting horror is in play, it readies, engages, and attacks each investigator at your location, otherwise it gains surge. Okay, so can't be stalked in the dark if there's no hunting horror. And that surges into slithering behind you. Okay, this is the one I think that summons the hunting horror. If the hunting horror is in play, add a doom to it. If it is not in play, search the encounter deck, discard pile, and the void for hunting horror and spawn it at your location engaged with you. Shuffle the encounter deck. All right, so the hunting horror is in the encounter deck, so let's go grab that. Huh, second from the bottom, how about that? All right, and the hunting horror enters play engaged with skids. When it enters play, attach the set-aside copy of Shadow Spawn to it. So it has Shadow Spawn with one resource on it. So uh, that is going to make him plus one to all of his resources, uh, but not yet massive. So he, are all of his stats. So he is three, four, three, three fight, four health, three evade, and a hunter and retaliate. So definitely a, a, a big fella for skids to deal with next turn but we knew that was coming. Uh, yep, that's the plan. So uh, that will be, let's see, that was Skid's Mythos card because he got the stalked and then the slithering. All right, and then Daisy will draw Twist of Fate. All right, so she reveals a random token from the Chaos Bag and we'll see what I get. And she's revealed a, an elder sign. Very nice, very nice. Twist of fate is uh, positive to Daisy. So nothing happens, and that is discarded. I don't get to use my elder sign ability, not that I could anyway, but um, that is a, a whiff from the encounter deck. Happy to see that. So while Skids thinks about how to handle the hunting horror, Daisy is going to go about getting some more clues. So, yeah, there's no sense in doing anything but getting out of here and starting to dig into some books. So Daisy will move into the yet unrevealed uh, exhibit hall, which is the Hall of the Dead. All right, this is a three shroud, four clue location, which seems pretty good to Daisy. And it says, forced after you fail a skill test while investigating, take a horror. All right, this is Good place for Daisy to camp out for a couple of turns. It is connected to the archives. 
So I will go ahead and place a location connector there. Oh, interesting. It is connected to the archives, but the archives is not connected to it. So that's a one-way street there. Mm hmm Okay, great. Can't say I've ever noticed that little connection problem before. Okay, uh, so Daisy's second action will be to investigate. I'll investigate it six to three. And that's a plus one, so that's successful. So she'll grab a clue. And then she'll investigate again. At six to three. And that's a zero, so I'm grabbing another clue. All right, that's two. All right, Skids has to deal with this um, bad bad fella in his space. So I will take my lone wolf resource, putting me at three, which I'm hopefully going to take advantage of. I am going to try to evade the hunting horror. So he has three uh, evade. I have also three evade with cursed luck. So I'm gonna throw a watch this into the test and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go a little um, aggressive here. Now I know that the skulls are minus three if the hunting horror is at my location, but I am, I'm going all in on this. I think I wanna just evade this guy so I can start to get some weapons in play. So. Watch this. I'm putting all three resources into it, and I'm and I'm evading at four to, at uh, sorry three plus the watch. This is four to the three of the hunting horror. So four to three, and I pull. Oh yeah, a zero. Very nice. Okay, that takes care of a whole bunch of problems at once. The cursed luck goes away because I succeeded by one. The hunting horror is evaded. So I will put that over here. The watch this was successful by one or more. This is a, a common mistake, I think, with people. Watch this cannot be successful on a tie. You have to succeed by one or more in order to gain the resources. Honestly, I, for, I forgot that just now when I committed the three resources. So I would have needed a zero, a plus one, or an elder sign to pass on that. And uh, I got lucky. So I'll take it, and I'll take three resources. Not what I would have done if I had actually read that card correctly. But I'll take it as of now, that, so that's six resources. And um, I have two actions left. Hmm. Potentially more than two actions left, if I'm willing to spend, which I might be. Um, I will go ahead and play an Enchanted Blade for three. Uh, the Enchanted Blade comes into play with three charges on it. So let me grab three charges. Um, and I think I might just go ahead and take a, take a thwack at the at the hunting horror. I do want those those clues eventually, but we are about to flip the agenda and I don't remember. I think that's going to add a resource to Shadow Spawn, which is gonna make him even tougher, or uh, make the hunting horror even tougher next round. But I can't flat out kill him right now. But I can hit him for two, so. I will spend a charge off the Enchanted Blade, and I will attack uh, for five. And that is five to three. And I draw a uh, minus three, well, nuts. All right, well, that's a waste of an enchanted blade. Not quite enough to sink the blade into the 
um, hunting horror. Uh, he has retaliated, but he's exhausted, so I get away with that. Um, so let's see. I evaded. I played the Enchanted Blade. Um, I will, uh, I'm ducking out of here. I'm not going to stick around for next round with this guy. So I'm going to spend two resources for a fourth action, and I'm going to duck back to the museum halls. He can ready in the enemy phase, so you have to be ready for that. So uh, that's that. We go to the enemy phase. The hunting horror will stand up on essentially any special symbol at the start of the enemy phase. And my symbol I draw is a plus one, so that is good. I'm, that saves me from a faster hunting horror. And that's the enemy phase. Then we go back to resetting. Skids gets his actions back and draws a narrow escape. Excellent. Happy to see that. Also, the two willpower icons are very, or the two uh, agility icons are great on that. And I'll take a resource and put one on Lone Wolf. And then Daisy will reset her actions and draw, oh, a ward of protection. Oh, very glad to see that. That puts her over the limit with nine cards. I'll go ahead and ditch one of my two Mr. Rooks. Yeah, ditch one of my uh, extra Mr. Rooks. And then we're going on to the Mythos phase. All right, this is Doom 5 of 5. So time to read Agenda 1B. If the hunting horror is in play, add one doom to it. All right. Placing a doom on the hunting horror. I don't believe the doom on the hunting horror does anything. Uh, no. All right. If the hunting horror is not in play, search, the, search for it and spawn it in the museum halls if able. Uh, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Okay, well, it is in play, so I don't have to worry about that. And then because this is the return to the Miskatonic Museum, uh, when, you went, when we are in, uh, resolving the text on Agenda 1B, which we just did, the forced ability on the next agenda, which is when it enters play, you put a resource on Shadow Spawn, that, would, that is considered to be active, but it wouldn't, doesn't matter in this situation because he's already in play. So, so that takes care of that. And the hunting horror I should have readied at the last um, upkeep phase. So he's ready to start hunting. Um, this next agenda is a seven length agenda. Uh, and it has the same forced effect when the hunting horror enters play, attach the set aside copy of Shadow Spawn to it. So at this point, I would really like to make him dead. So uh, that would uh, require me to hit him for four damage. There's also a doom on him. So that's something to consider as well. Let me mark that. All right, and then we have to draw our two mythos uh, uh, encounter cards. Skids draws. Ephemeral exhibits. Test um, intellect three. If you fail, lose an action for each point you failed by. Yikes! Um, all right, well, Skids is at three to three here with this. I don't really have any way to boost it. I'm not gonna spend my flashlight for a plus one. So I'll test it at three to three. Oh, wow, check that out, a plus one. All right, so. Skids scoots by that ephemeral exhibits. Happy to see that. I really would rather Daisy draws that. And Daisy draws Cursed Luck. Hmm. Well, I think I would normally cancel the cancel this because I have a Ward of Protection, but that one's not bad. I will keep that. Because I can get around that with an investigation, no problem. All right, that's the last of the Cursed Lucks. Okay. So we need to just keep moving here. Uh, I'm going to have, let's see, how do I want to do this? The hunting whore is going to hunt to the museum halls this round unless I head in there with skids to deal with him, which I will do. 
So let's go first with skids. I'm going to uh, take my lone wolf resource. I'm going to move in with skids to the exhibit hall, uh, the Medusa exhibit where the hunting horror is ready and he will engage me. I will spend an action to attack him with an enchanted blade and I'm gonna go ahead and throw a vicious blow in there. I have a, hopefully a, a plan here in mind. And uh, this is going to be, uh, let's see, this is a plus three to my attack, so it's six to three on the attack. And I got a minus one. So that's a successful uh, attack with the uh, powered up enchanted blade. So that is a total of three damage to the hunting horror. All right, so the vicious blow is gone. All right, and then for my third action, I'm going to play a guard dog. <coughs> now, as soon as I declare an, uh, an action that is not a fight, evade, parley, or resign, I'm gonna take an attack of opportunity. Um, I could play the narrow escape here, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna take the attack of opportunity. The honey horror doesn't do anything special but hit for a damage and a horror. So I'll just take the damage and the horror. And then that puts the guard dog into play and takes me to zero resources. And then uh, the guard dog will be able to uh, kill the hunting horror when we get to the enemy phase. That's the plan. Excuse me, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> Daisy um, is going to investigate. Let's try to clear off this exhibit hall. So Daisy will investigate at six to three, uh, five to three with the curse luck. Um, I'll throw an archaic glyphs in here uh, as uh, to boost the test. So that puts me at back to six to three. And I draw a skull, which uh, skull is a minus one, I believe. Yep, it is. So that's five to three, so that's successful, and the cursed luck is gone. And Daisy grabs clue number three at that location. And then action number two with Daisy will be to investigate again as well. At six to three. And I pull a tentacle. Not so great. All right, well, that's bound to happen. Um, now, if you fail a skill test while investigating this location, take a horror. So Daisy takes a horror at the Hall of the Dead. And then I will investigate one more time. Third action. Just try to get that last clue. It's worth a VP. That's six to three. And I'd pull a minus one, so that's that last clue. And that is also the last of Daisy's actions. So investigate, investigate, investigate. <coughs> I'm now loaded up with four clues, which will be really nice to, to have in the off chance that I need to play a, uh, I've got a plan in between now and then. And as you know, this podcast is called I've Got a Plan, so I love playing that card, but I'm gonna need uh, something to blow up first. And that is the end of the investigation phase. Enemy phase, the hunting horror attacks uh, Skids O'Toole for one and one. So the hunting horror will attack Skids for one and one. Uh, I will place the one damage on the guard dog. Um, and I will, against my better judgment, take the horror on myself. 
Daisy still is sitting on a logical reasoning and some money, so I can always handle that if I need to. And the uh, guard dog attacks the damage back to the hunting horror, which is enough to kill it. So the hunting horror dies. The doom on him goes away. So I can unmark that. Um, I think I forgot to put a doom on that agenda the last time. Or did I? Let me think about that. I got a curse lock. I don't want to remove it. No, I don't, I don't think I did. No, I don't think I did. So the hunting horror moves on to the void. Um, and the shadow spawn stays with the resource on it. So I'll move the void just up here out of play. I'm sure he will be back. I know he will be back because I'm going to try to break into the exhibit at the end. Okay, and uh, that will take care of the enemy face, and then we move on to the upkeep. Uh, skids will draw another emergency cache. That's terrific. I will draw a take a resource and place a lone wolf reminder. Daisy will draw a premonition. I'm glad to see that. Premonition is the one that lets you peek ahead in the chaos bag, so that's always very nice. <clears throat> very, It's free, but it is not a spell, so it's not reusable with Vermis. Um, though I haven't got that up and running just yet anyway. I can go ahead and commit that um, commit that logical reasoning uh, now because I can play the Vermis and have that have that going. But anyway, getting ahead of myself, let's uh, take a resource with Daisy, which puts her now at seven resources. Essentially, I haven't played anything because I haven't been wanting to play anything. I've got six intellect. Let's go find some clues, right? So uh, moving on uh, to the Mythos phase. One Doom on the Agenda. Skids draws. Stalked in the dark. Oh, good timing on this. If hunting horror is in play, uh, and it is no longer in play, so it gains surge. I've gotten out of two of those now. And it surges into infinite doorway. Uh, attached to your location, and then as a cost to move out of it, you have to discard the top card of your deck, and then you might have to get rid of some stuff. But that for skid that for skids is not a bad situation at all. I'll be happy to take that. And then Daisy draws inexplicable cold. <clears throat> okay, here's a test she's not any good at. Revelation test uh, agility four. For each point you fail by, you must either choose and discard a card from your play area or from your hand, or take one damage. Okay, well that's <clears throat> that's bad, but it's not. It's not the worst thing I could draw. Um, I do have some cards in hand I would be willing to discard if I failed this badly. I'm going to assume I would fail that by four, so I'd have to get rid of four cards in hand. Eh. Ah, oh boy. I want to save that Ward of Protection, though, for um, something that would summon the Hunting Horror between now and the final thing. So I'll take it. I'm just going to take this test. Uh, I would love to play that Inquiring Mind that I've got, but I happen to be at a location with no clues. So that's just going to have to sit there. Um, aha. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, during the test window, or actually, is there an action window? Um, I'm going to have to check the rule book on this one. Is there an action window between... Okay. So, no, there's no player window in which I could play Premonition to decide whether I want to, to take this test or not. So, I will just, I will just take it. Uh, I'm going to take it at four to two. And I get a, a cultist. All right, well, that's going to suck because that's going to summon the hunting horror, isn't it? It most certainly is. All right, well, <laughs> if you play with fire, you get burned. So that is the first thing I have to take care of is that is a minus one. So I am at 
four to, let's see, one to four. So I need to either discard three cards from my hand or play area or take three damage. Well, I'm certainly not gonna take the three damage or probably any combination of those. I will discard the Mr. Rook in my hand because I'm just not gonna play that this game. I will discard the Logical Reasoning and I will discard the Inquiring Mind. And that will satisfy the Inexplicable Cold card. And now I have to deal with the Cultist token, which says, search the encounter deck discard pile and void for the Hunting Horror and spawn it at your location. So the Hunting Horror shows up at my location. And when he enters play, um, let's see here. I add a resource to Shadow Spawn. So that he now has plus two to all of his stats. And uh, it might very well be time for I've got a plan here, I think. Uh, though I might just ditch him. Uh, I'm thinking I might just ditch him. I have a mind over matter in hand. So Daisy, regretting not canceling that event. But the good news is, is that gives Skids a little bit of time to grab a couple of clues as well. We've got a good amount of clues. And I've got an I've got a plan to deal with the hunting horror. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, unfortunately, the I've got a plan is going to be one shy of uh, being able to kill the hunting horror outright. But I could hit him and then take off running and let the guard dog finish him later. So that'll probably be the plan. All right, let's go ahead and start this round with a premonition. Though that does have a, yeah. I'm going to play a premonition. Uh, and I'm going to pull a to token out and see what we've got facing us this round. And the premonition leads us to a minus one. Okay. So that tells me now that um, I'm safe to, to play I've Got a Plan with Daisy if I want to just do that first. So I do. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, Daisy's first action will be to spend three resources and play I've Got a Plan. I've Got a Plan. This attack uses uh, her intellect. You deal plus one damage for this attack for each clue you have. I have four clues, so this will do four damage if I'm successful. And I'm attacking at six to four, and I don't have to draw a token because I've got the premonition that it's a minus one. So that is successful, and I deal four damage to the Hunting Horror. Uh, and that... Uh, I've got a plan goes to the discard pile. Now, that is making the Divermis Mysterious look really darn good right now. Uh, so I'm going to discard the premonition. I'm going to play for one resource, Mind Over Matter. Uh, so, so let me get the heck out of here. In fact, I'm not going to use it to get me the heck out of here. I'm going to use it to punch the hunting horror. I'm going to punch him at six to four. Uh, my strength is now equal to six. So let's hit him. And we draw a plus one. Oh, very nice. Daisy coming up big. So that is the fifth point of damage on the hunting horror, which is enough to kill him again. And honestly, if I, you told me Daisy could kill a hunting horror in two actions, I don't know I would have believed you. All right. So that takes care of the hunting horror in two actions. Mind over matter is still active, but I don't care. I'll spend my third action to move back into the museum halls. Okay. Uh, that is it for Daisy's turn. Skids. Um, I want to grab these two. I'll take the Lone Wolf 
resource. I will spend my first action to play uh, another flashlight. So I'll play my second flashlight and that will get three supplies on it. I will spend my second action to use the flashlight to investigate. Uh, the um, Miss Medusa exhibit, as a reminder, has two shrouds. So this lowers the shroud to zero. So I'm just looking to avoid the auto fail. Never say that out loud, by the way, kids. So uh, I'm looking at a skill of three to zero. And the token I draw is a plus one. That plus one's been coming up a couple times here. So I've got the resource and or got the clue. And then I'll do it again with a second flashlight charge at three to zero. And I pull a zero out of the bag. So that's the two clues off of the Medusa exhibit. And we are as a team sitting on six clues, which is definitely enough to clear out the, um, the rest of the exhibit, uh, exhibit halls. Now it's just a matter of getting there and doing it. And that is the end of the investigation phase. We have no enemies. We're moving on to upkeep. Skids will draw a 45 automatic. All right, happy to see that. And I will take a resource and put one on Lone Wolf. Daisy will draw an old book of lore. Okay, well, I'm not sorry to see that. A little, a little earlier would have been nice. And I'll take a resource, putting me at four. Hand reminder for Daisy, she now only has a Ward of Protection, a Divermus Mysterious, and an old book of lore. So that is uh, significantly less than she used to have, but we're doing okay. Let's go on to the mythos phase. Um, pro tip, don't say we're doing okay right before you start the mythos phase. Here goes Skid's card. Passage into the veil. All right. So this is a test that Skid's does not want to take, but he has no choice. Um, he has to test willpower three. So uh, right now that is two to three. I don't have anything to boost it right now, so we'll just take it. That's uh, a minus two, so that's a zero to three. If I fail, I have to e either discard the top five cards of my deck uh, or take a direct damage and kill off Adam Lynch. <laughs> no thanks. By the way, if Adam, Li if Adam Lynch dies, uh, you have to add a tablet for the rest of the campaign. You will regret that decision. So I will go ahead and discard the top five cards of my deck. One, Lone Wolf, Vicious Blow, on the Lamb, 45 Automatic, and Elder Sign Amulet. Okay, not terrible. My deck is uh, still has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cards in it. So I have to be careful about Beyond the Veil, but I'm all right right now. And then Daisy will draw uh, an Infinite Doorway. Okay, this is terrible on the Museum Halls, so I'm going to cancel it. Um, there's no way to get rid of this. Um, and it's just going to sap you of cards and things as you, as you go, by, go through it. No way, no way, no way. I'll play a Water Protection, spending a resource, taking a Horror. That's two Horror out of nine. And I will cancel the Infinite Doorway on the Museum Halls. I had that card on the Miskatonic Quad one time uh, in the... Uh, extracurricular activities. Oh, this thing is a disaster in a high traffic location. Um, so that is that. And we're on to the investigation phase. Now, <clears throat> I have a couple things that I would like to do here. <clears throat> but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to scout. I really think that's the best play here. So I'm going to send skids. I'm going to take the resource from Lone Wolf. And I'm going to send skids back to the security office. So uh, to move out of the ex Medusa uh, exhibit, I need to um, discard the top card of my deck. It is a scene of the crime. Uh, 
so I discard that. Uh, for each copy of the discarded card in my hand or play area, I have to either take a horror or discard it, but I don't have one of those in either place, so that's fine. And then I'm moving up to the security office for my second action. For my third action, I'm going to scout out the top card of the exhibit deck with Adam Lynch. And it is the Athabascan exhibit. Uh, this is one that is a one shroud, zero clue location, and it uh, gives you extra agility when you're there, uh, but you really don't want to be there unless you're trying to get away from the hunting horror or some other thing. It's essentially a red herring location. It has no victory points. That's great to know because I can just skip it. So thank you, Adam Lynch, for your surveillance. And I will be done with skids. Um, do I want to take another uh, action? I do not. All right, Daisy. Uh, Daisy will spend... Hmm, okay, got to think about this. If I spend down Daisy's clues, then I am giving up the power of a repeat I've got a plan but I'm gonna have to do it anyway. So I'm spending down Daisy's clues. I'm gonna spend two clues here to place that Athabascan exhibit uh, face down into play. I'll put it over here since I know I'm not gonna go to it. Um, that's my first action. For my second action, I will play an old book of lore Finally get a tome into play. Cost me my last three resources. I will use my free tome action to use the old book of lore to scout out three cards. Hmm, very nice. All right, I've got a, a Dr. Henry Armitage, a Daisy's tote bag, and a Storm of Spirits. Now, Daisy's Tote Bag is actually going to be a, a card that comes in handy over the course of this uh, campaign, but I don't need it right now. So I'll grab Dr. Henry Armitage. That's I'm happy to see him. And shuffle the other two back in. I don't have the cash right now to play him, but he also commits for two wilds. So not have not unhappy to see that. And I will spend my third action to uh, go ahead and put the next exhibit hall into play. We don't know what that is just yet. At least not till next turn. All right. And that is the end of the investigation phase. We go to upkeep, is there are no enemies in play? Skids will draw another guard dog, all right, and I'll take a resource and a lone wolf resource reminder. And Daisy will draw another old book of lore. I can commit that, and I'll take a resource. Okay, doom three of seven on the agenda. Mythos phase. Uh, encounter card for skids. A Baleful Welcome. Okay, so this is the one where you choose two actions that we cannot perform the rest of the round. So, hmm. Well, <laughs> I'd like to choose Fight and Evade since there's no monsters, but as soon as you choose that, I'll end up drawing a Haunting Horror. Um... Boy, if Daisy draws a hunting horror, I'm in trouble anyway. I'll choose fight. And play. Fight and play are my two choices. So that is number two and number five. And just mark this to show that I've picked two and five. All right, and then Daisy's card is Haunting Recollections. All right, for each card in your hand, if there's a copy of that card in your discard pile, take a horror. 
All right. So uh, Divermis, I think there is not one of those in my discard pile. No. Dr. Armitage, there definitely is not. An old book of lore, there is definitely not. Okay, so nothing like that. Uh, so I took no horror from that effect. Discard the top three cards of your deck. Not bad. Card number one is the Storm of Spirits. Two is a Moonlight Ritual. And three is a Deduction. Okay. That's fine. I'm sorry to see that Deduction go. But... The, the bigger my discard pile gets, the more powerful that Divermus Mysterious also gets. So let's go ahead and, and uh, move on with the investigation phase. No fighting, no playing cards. All right. So I'm going to start with Skids. I'll take my Lone Wolf resource. And I'm going to go ahead and activate the... Um, security camera system again to take a look at the one I don't know that's in play. Look at the look at the revealed side of an exhibit hall in play. Yeah, okay. It is the Egyptian exhibit. Okay, so now we have to decide if I'm going to get greedy. Uh, it turns out that the uh, the one I'm trying to get to is the last one because of course it is. The Egyptian exhibit is a three shroud location with four clues and uh, causes you to lose an action if you fail a skill test investigating. Okay. Well, that's a fine place to go. Uh, the other thing I can do is um, I can bring skids down and get that final location into play. Question is, do I want that extra? You know, I, I do, because I want Daisy to get some more clues to be able to help out with the attacking. So, yeah. All right. Thank you, Skids. Uh, that's action number one with Skids. Action number two with Skids, I will move down into the museum halls, since now I know what all of the locations are. Action three, I will go ahead and spend my two clues to put that final location into play. And that is going to be, I'm going to move the security office and the entrance and the administration building a little bit out of the way here. That location is going to be the one we're looking for, the restricted halls. And we are all now out of clues. Um, Skids has got a lot of money. So I'm going to go ahead and spend two resources for a fourth action. And in that fourth action, I am going to move into the um, exhibit, the um, Egyptian exhibit, and be there to help Daisy out in case she gets into trouble. So there are four clues there. One, two, three, four. I could also potentially uh, draw another intel report and be able to buy a couple of the clues off of here which would speed things up significantly. So that's four resources, or four clues there. And Skids has taken four actions, so he is done. Uh, did I do something illegal there? I had a feeling I can't play anything and I can't fight, so we're good there. I'm fine. I security camera moved, spent, Moved. Okay, we're good. Uh, Daisy uh, is going to just move in and start grabbing some clues. So that's the plan. I will use Old Book of Lore first. Let's look at the top three cards. Um, I've got a David Renfield, uh, Premonition and a Logical Reasoning. Um, don't really want the, I don't need the Renfield right now. Because if I'm going to play an ally, I'm going to go ahead and play out Dr. Armitage. I will take the premonition because I don't, the logical reasoning I don't really need right now. I could always go use the one out of my discard pile if I wanted to play the Vermis, which I will probably do next turn. But right now the goal is to get some clues. <clears throat> All right. Action number one. 
or non-tome action number one, will be to move into the uh, Egy Exi Egyptian exhibit. Say that five times fast. Uh, which, by the way, is connected to the Medusa exhibit. So let me just make a quick little adjustment to that. I don't think that'll matter. But let's just mark that. They are connected to each other. All right. So Daisy's in the Egyptian exhibit, Skids is in the museum halls. Nope, Daisy, Skids is also in the Egyptian exhibit. And there's four clues there. All right, Daisy's second action will be to investigate at six to three. And I draw a skull, which is a minus one. So that'll get me a clue. And then third action, six to three again. I get another skull, so that is another minus one. That's successful. Two clues procured. And that is the investigation phase. No enemies. Reset. Skids starting to look a little, little worried about this deck size here. Draws a watch this. And I'll take a resource and a lone wolf. Reminder, Daisy will uh, reset the old book of lore. <coughs> Draw, ah, well, there it is. Knew it was going to happen at some point. I drew the Necronomicon. I think that's the first time I've drawn that this whole campaign so far. Put the Necronomicon into play in your threat area with three horror on it. It takes up a hand slot, but right now I had a free hand slot. So, three horror on it. It cannot leave play while it has one or more horror on it. And I essentially cannot, um, every elder sign I draw is considered to be a tentacle. It takes an action, or Daisy's tome action, to be able to move a horror from the Necronomicon to Daisy, and then I can get rid of it. So, not great, but it's also not terrible. So, uh, you can get hung up on getting rid of that. It doesn't, it just saps your elder sign okay so that is that uh for the draw phase we're going on to the mythos phase oh fingers crossed i got four doom of seven skids draws twist of fate okay that's the random token this is perfect for him i don't need to worry about this at all And Skids has drawn a skull. He takes two horror. Oh, I say I don't have to worry about it, but here I am worrying about it. So that puts him at four out of six horror. I will definitely be trying to help him out with Daisy. All right. And then Daisy draws <coughs> oppressive mists attached to your location limit one per location after an investigator at this location draws one or more cards that investigator must test their willpower of three willpower versus three if you fail you choose and discard an equal number of cards and then you can spend two actions to get rid of the oppressive mists okay well that's not it's not terrible it's not going to change things too badly. I'm just going to try to grab a couple clues and get out of here anyway. So Daisy will take her tome action with the Book of Lore. I'm saying, I'm going to say forget the Necronomicon for now, and I'm going to look at the top three cards. Looking for a deduction is what I'm looking for. Um, I got a Truth from Fiction, which is a couple of book icons right now. Uh, chronophobia and a David Renfield. Um, I'll take the truth from fiction. Shuffle the other two back in. I'll take it for the intellect icons, if nothing else. 
All right, uh, so Daisy's first action. I'm gonna risk it with skids for now, uh, but I'm gonna stick around with Daisy so I can help him boost him a little bit. Uh, skids, uh, Daisy's first action will be to go for the clue. So this is six to three on the investigate. Um, I will throw the truth from fiction in to go, eh, nah, I'll just go six to three. Let's not go crazy here. All right, six to three, uh, and my token was a minus four. Sorry, minus four. So I should have gone crazy. That's a miss. Oh, what, what happens if you miss there? If you fail a skill test while investigating this location, lose an action. Oh, are you kidding me? All right. Boy, oh boy. Okay, I'll spend my third action also to investigate, and that means I'm going to have to deal with the mists. Uh, and I'll get a, I get a skull, so that is a minus one, so I get the clue that's there. And that's it for Daisy's turn. Oh, uh, that oppressive mist, does that kick in when I, I do, that kicks in with my old book of lore. I need to deal with that right now. All right, so I'm going to uh, test willpower three. So I'm at four to three to see if I have to discard a card. Uh, I got a minus three on that test, so I do have to discard a card. So I'll discard the second old book of lore. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is an opportunity. Oh, Baleful Welcome is long gone. This is an opportunity for uh, Daisy to help out Skids. So I'm going to play Premonition and see if uh, investigating is going to be a thing. So the Premonition that Daisy has about Skids' action is that he's going to draw a minus one. Okay, so the Premonition says minus one. So if Skids uses a flashlight, I can lower the shroud here to a two and succeed with a minus one. So that's great. I will do that. Skids' first action will be to play the last flashlight charge and investigate. Uh, I will draw a minus one out of the bag and I'll take that final clue with Skids. I do not get the lone wolf resource this turn. We're hanging out together. Okay, we have now entered the gotta get ready for the end game situation. Um, the flashlight is empty. Skids will play a 45 automatic in its place for four resources, putting him at one. And I'm going to put four ammo on the 45 automatic. And I'm going to move Skids in back into the museum halls to get ready for the final location. And that is it for Skids. Uh, Daisy already took her turn, so we're happy there. Enemy phase, nothing happens. Reset. Skids draws. A lucky cigarette case, okay. Probably won't play that, but it's nice to have the will icon. And I'll take a resource and put one on Lone Wolf. All right, and then uh, Daisy will reset and draw a Mind Over Matter. Okay, I'm glad to see that. That will be very helpful as we get towards the uh, final deal. And I'll take my third resource. And that's that. So, Mythos Phase. Doom number five of seven on the agenda. And my encounter cards are for Skids. Dark Bidding. This is a new one. Attach Dark Bidding to Hunting Horror, even if it is out of play. 
Dark bidding remains attached to hunting horror even if it enters the void, okay? So it's another attachment for it. When hunting horror attacks an investigator, that investigator must take an additional damage and an additional horror and heal two damage from the hunting horror. Discard dark bidding. Okay, so it's like a, a powered up attack for it or something like that. Yuck. All right, well, we'll attach that up there. And then Daisy's Mythos Phase card is Haunting Recollections. For each card in your hand, if there's a copy of that card in your discard pile, take a horror. All right, I do believe that there are there is a Mind Over Matter in my discard pile. In fact, I'm sure of it. I'll just look. Yeah, there is a Mind Over Matter in my discard pile. So that's just the one card that has a copy in the discard pile. So that is, um, I take one horror. Any Mythos phase that uh, the effect is take one horror and your daisy, that is a good Mythos phase. All right, we avoided the hunting horror for one more round. Uh, oh, I didn't deal with the oppressive mists. Uh, so Daisy drew a card. She drew the mind over matter. I need to test the oppressive mists at four to three. Um, I drew a cultist, always scary. That is minus one and I did not fail. Okay, whew, scary. So I get to keep my card. Oh my goodness. So terrifying. That cultist, by the way, brings the hunting horror back into play, and my God, that would change everything. So um, let's get out of here and try to finish this scenario. Skids has a gun. It's loaded. He's ready to rock, so let's do it. Um, I need to get one more clue. Sk oh, no, Skids has got... We were, everything's in play, so the clues we have now are just gravy. So let's go into the re let's go into the restricted hall. Skids is going to take his lone wolf resource. I am going to. Am I going to play? I'm thinking about playing emergency cash before I go in because I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to play it after I'm in there, and I might want the cash for extra actions. I do watch this though. Let's just go. I'm going to take the actions. So I will send skids. So in we go. The exhibit hall. It is a three shroud location with four clues. One, two, three, four. While hunting horror is at this location, this location cannot be investigated. So we either need to kill the hunting horror or lure it away. It is a Victory One location, and the Hunting Horror is about to be there. So Skids is there with his first action. If an investigator enters the exhibit hall, advance. Restricted hall, advance. Act 2B. When you enter the restricted hall, you find the curator of the museum, Harold Wallstead, lying in a pool of his blood his intestines strewn about in a grotesque display. Trigger warning. Your stomach turns over and you resist the urge to vomit. Whatever did this, it's still nearby. Search the encounter deck discard pile in the void. I found him, he's in the void. And all play areas for the hunting horror and place it in the restricted hall ready. Advance to act 3A. All right. Act 3A says... Searching for the Tome. Somewhere in this area is the Latin translation of the Necronomicon, the Olaus Wormius translation. You must find it and escape while you can. If there are no clues in the exhibit hall, advance. So our goal is to clear this thing of clues. And Skids now has a powered up hunting horror on him. And uh, the hunting horror has entered play. And it is, get, uh, so it's going to gain another resource, putting it at three on Shadow Spawn, and that means that it is massive. So Skids needs to deal with this guy and um, hopefully let uh, Daisy get in there and not have to worry about it too much. So action number two for Skids is going to be to evade 
No, that's not true. I have a narrow escape in hand. I can cancel an attack of opportunity made against me. Which means I can get out of here and deal with this guy in the museum halls. And that is going to be the plan. So um, I moved in. Action number two is going to be to move back out. So I am, I have this guy. Oh, he's massive. Oh, yes, that's right. That does not work because he will not come with me. If he's massive, I'll just essentially waste my action. Okay, so I will evade him. He has five evade. So I'm going to commit the narrow escape and a watch this. The watch this will be powered up with all three of my resources. So I'm at plus three, which puts me at seven to five on the evade. <coughs> Eggs, meat basket. And the token we pull <laughs> is a cultist. So the cultist is a minus one. And I did not fail, so nothing else happens. Uh, so since that was a minus one, that does trigger watch this. I get my three resources off of that. Whew. So now I'm sitting pretty at six resources. And the uh, hunting horror has been evaded. At least for now. So I'm going to go ahead and evade him at my location. Uh, massive enemies can be ev can be evaded. And uh, that then leaves skids free to either take a couple pot shots or to try to investigate a couple of uh, t um, investigate a couple of uh, clues away. But right now he doesn't have any tricks for investigating clues. So Let's go ahead and take a couple pot shots here. I will, um, let's see, I'm at three. The Hunting Horror's power is five right now. I can only really jack myself up a little bit on the fight. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'll spend my Enchanted Blade, final, uh, charge on that to go up to five attack versus the hunting horrors five and I will commit a guard dog to that test as well so six to five just trying to pot shot this guy a little bit and we draw a minus four, that ain't gonna do it. So my second guard dog is uh, is gone. And my last enchanted blade is gone. Okay, so let's see, that was my third action. Am I gonna pay for a fourth action? I sure am. Uh, let's go ahead and pay for a fourth action. And I'm just gonna try a, a rogue investigate check here. So, Three to three. I'm not going to add anything to this. I, don't, I can't add anything to it. Let's see if I can get lucky. Sometimes that pays off. And it does. I got a zero. So, I uh, got a clue. That's terrific. Um, oh, man. That is cheating, is what that is. Let's back that up. Uh, it does, for some reason, I thought it said, while the hunting horror is ready at this location, this location cannot be investigated. But I can't investigate it even if he's here at this location. So let me back that up. Put that clue back. So, uh, let's see. Skids. Um, hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. I still have one action remaining. And since he's massive, I am not going to be able to 
investigate this location. I, I can't drag him with me. He just won't come. So the right thing to do is going to be attack. So I will spend my third action and I will attack, uh, attack him. And I will go ahead and spend a charge on the automatic. No, it doesn't make any sense because I'm just at four to five. That's no good. Um, I will draw a card for my third action. Oh, okay. Okay, I drew a scene of the crime. Now that's pretty great because I can discover two clues at my location as my first action next round. Uh, and discovering clues is possible. It is something you can do there. Uh, it can't be investigated, but you can discover clues there. So, wow, that's a great pull. Happy to see that for my third action. And then Daisy is up next. So, uh, I am going to play, move, move. Hmm, I would really like to heal skids up, but th I don't, that's gonna take a lot of trickery. Uh, yeah, so I'll get in there and grab a, try to grab a clue. So Daisy will um, use the old book of lore for her first action. One, two, three. Oh, very nice. I drew a logical reasoning. I also drew a David Renfield and a, a Knowledge is Power. I don't want the Renfield, but the Knowledge is Power I need to read. Fast play only during your turn. Fast. Choose a tome or spell asset you control or reveal one that's in your hand. Resolve an ability on that asset, ignoring all costs. Then if that asset was in your hand, you may discard it to draw a card. That is going to allow me... I'm keeping that. That's going to allow me to do a... Um, And I've got a plan from the uh, uh, this turn. So yeah, that's definitely going to be my plan. So I'll put Logical Reasoning and David Renfield back in on the shuffle. Well, this is all very interesting. All right, so Daisy's first two actions are going to be to move into the exhibit hall, the restricted area. One, two. All right. While I am there, I'm going to play Knowledge is Power as a fast uh, insight action. Uh, choose a tome or a spell asset you control. I will choose the, the uh, Divermus Mysterious Tome in my hand. Um, I can use its ability without paying, um, without paying, without any costs, so I don't have to place the Doom on it. Um, and I can play a spell or insight event from my discard pile Reducing its resource by one. I'm going to play I've Got a Plan for two. That removes I've Got a Plan from the game. And I have the three clues necessary to make it deal four damage. So that is going to be an attack of six versus five. I will commit a truth from fiction to make that uh, which has two intellect icons, to make that eight versus five. And I drew a cultist. So that is a minus one. So that is successful. So I deal four damage to the hunting horror with a trickeried out Divermus, I've got a plan combo. So that's how it's done, Skids. You see that? All right, so the Hunting Horror has two damage left uh, to be killed. After that event resolves, remove it from the game. Okay, the Knowledge is Power then says, then if that asset was in your hand, you may discard it to draw a card. Um... Do I want to discard it and draw a card? Um, no, I don't think I do. I will keep it. Knowledge is power. That's a great card. 
That is a great card. Hadn't played that one before. All right, and then uh, we are gonna have Daisy as a third action actually remaining because that was just a fast action. So for my third action, um, I will, I will play, I wanted to pay for that. I've got a plan, so I've only got one resource remaining. What do I want to do for my next action? I will draw a card. Word of Protection. Okay, great choice. Happy with that. And that's it for my that's it for my turn. Uh, we are we got to get rid of this hunting horror. I'm never going to get the resources off this location. So that's the end of my turn. Uh, we um, uh, enemy phase. I have to see if the hunting horror pops back up with a special symbol. He will pop back up. And we get a plus one. All right, he does not pop back up, so that's great. And then we'll reset. Skids resets and draws an Ace of Swords. There it is, finally got one. That's really good right now, actually. I can use the plus one uh, on the attack. I just don't know if I'm going to have the time to deal with that. No, oh, I will. Yeah, I will. And I'll take a resource. I'm not going to bother marking Lone Wolf since it won't kick in. And then I'm going to go ahead and reset with Daisy. Draw a card. Uh, a second Divermis Mysterious. All right. That's fine. And I'll take a resource, putting me at two resources. And we're going to move to the Mythos phase. Six Doom of Seven. All right, and uh, here come my two cards. Skids, who is in real, real danger of being dead here. Uh, oh, the hunting whore, by the way, is ready. And as he is massive, he is ready to smack somebody down. Some buddies down. With dark bidding. All right, and Skids draws. Visions of Futures Past. I'll take cards that can kill me for a thousand. Um, how many cards do I even have in my deck? Holy mackerel, this is close. One, two, three, four, five, six cards in my deck. <sighs> okay, well, Daisy will be helping him out with this test for sure. Um, he is at two versus five. I'll commit a lucky cigarette case to go three versus five. And Daisy will... Um, boy, oh boy. Daisy will commit a Dr. Henry Armitage to help this test as well. So that puts Skids up at five versus five. This card can't quite kill me, but almost. And I get a minus one. Okay, so that just drops one card off the top of my deck, which was my second Enchanted Blade. All right. Thank you, Dr. Henry Armitage, and uh, for your last-minute assistance. And then Daisy will draw her Mythos card. Oh, a Baleful Welcome. Okay, so this is the one... Um, I, this, you have to pick two uh, actions that you can't perform this turn. Okay, so what do I, what am I going to want to do? I'm going to want to kill the hunting whore. That's what I need to do. Skids can, hmm, I got to look up this uh, dark bidding card. So he's going to attack and heal if we let him get an opportunity attack in. So that's not a good idea. So we're gonna need to, ideally we would like to evade him or just flat out kill him. I'm gonna be using Mind Over Matter this turn to be able to get 
uh, a, a boost to my my chance at evading him. Um, and ideally, I'd like to also investigate this turn and play. All right, I'm gonna cancel it. So Daisy will play Ward of Protection for one, leaving her with the one she needs to play Mind Over Matter. And I will take the horror, putting me at four of nine to cancel that bill for welcome because I need to be doing a bunch of different stuff this turn. Okay, so we need to do two more damage to the hunting horror to kill it. Just flat out have to do that. So I'm going to go first with Daisy. Mm, boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, I have to go first with Skids because I want to get that scene of the crime in. So Skids is going to go first. And I will play scene of the crime. Uh, I get to discover two clues at my location that does not provoke an attack of opportunity. So Skids takes the two, two of the clues necessary off of that location. Okay. Um, that was my first action. For my second action, now this guy has retaliate, so I have to be really careful. I'm going to, he attempt to evade him. He does not have alert. So if I fail the evades, I fail the evades. And he has, I believe five evade. He sure does. Yep. I will try to evade him at four to five and hope for an Elder Sign or a plus one. It's my best bet. Well, actually, if I'm going to do that, no, because he's got retaliate. Yeah, I definitely don't want to retaliate. All right. Four to five on the evade. And we get, oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh, look at that mess right there. Elder sign. So that gives Skids plus two. So that is a successful evade, and I get two resources. Wow, Z Wowzer. What a pull. What a pull. Okay. So Skids gets two resources off of that. And that was his second action. The first was scene of the crime. That turns off his retaliate. Uh, I will play the Ace of Swords for my third action to get a plus one boost to my combat skill. And I will spend two resources for my to get a fourth action and I will shoot the, I will shoot the hunting horror using a bullet from the 45 automatic. So I'm attacking him at five to five. And I will not add anything to this. I'll just go five to five. Oh my gosh. It's so lovely. It's a zero. It's a zero. That means the 45 automatic, it sinks uh, a bullet into the side of the hunting horror, dealing it the two damage necessary to kill it. Skids, pulling out an elder sign and a zero to finish it off. That two damage is enough to finish off the hunting horror, which is sent off to the void. And Skids has two resources left and no actions. Two copies of Emergency Cash in hand. All right. So Daisy now just needs to investigate the last two uh, resources, the last two clues off of the exhibit hall, and we can win this thing. So I will Old Book of Lore. Two, three cards. Um, I will keep... Crack the case because it's got a 
intellect icon and shuffle the other two back in. Now this is the point where we hope to not draw elder signs because Daisy's still got the Necronomicon in play. So let's investigate at six to three. I will throw a crack the case in there, <coughs> commit it to make it seven to three on the investigate. And we pull a skull, uh, which is a, a minus one for hunting horror is gone. So that's a clue. That gives Daisy four clues. There is one left on the location. Uh, for my second action, I will investigate again, committing a Divermis Mysterious for its intellect icon, seven to three. This could be it. This could be the winner. Or it could not be. It's a skull. That's a win. So we grab that last clue off of the exhibit hall, restricted hall, and we advance. If there are no clues remaining in the exhibit hall, restricted hall, advance. At last, you find the locked case containing the Necronomicon. The tome, over 800 pages in length, is filled with all manner of macabre imagery, formulae, spells, prophecies, and descriptions of creatures from beyond the threshold of space. Without a doubt, it is a dangerous book, but its secrets could be very useful. The investigators must decide. It is too dangerous to keep around. We have to destroy it. Or it's too valuable to destroy. We have to keep it safe. That's what I'm picking because I'm Daisy and I like books. So Daisy's going to try to keep the Necronomicon resolution two. And that is a successful run through the return to the, um, I just want to call it the night at the museum, the return to the Miskatonic Museum. Uh, that was close. No doubt about it. Uh, Skids is... Um, Definitely going to need a little boost in his combat ability. When I, when we go up against a, a guy with combat five, that's Skids just doesn't have what it takes to get ahead that far ahead. So I'm thinking I might be uh, boosting my uh, boosting my combat ability a little bit more, perhaps with an upgraded enchanted blade, maybe, uh, or maybe I will grab some grenades, or I don't know. We're gonna see if I can come up with some way to help boost it. I never did get either of my beat cops into play. That would certainly help. Um, and uh, Francis Morgan was lost to the, uh, yeah, I had my next three cards where a stubborn detective was next. That would not have been a, uh, a good play. A beat cop and an intel report, all of which would have been great. Uh, so I managed to avoid Beyond the Veil by a grand total of five cards in my deck at the end. And um, I managed to avoid uh, Sanity Death by uh, only two. Now, for those of you that are watching closely, I'm sure I made some sort of a mistake in there. Uh, but uh, that scenario is way, way, way more interesting and way better than it was back in the original uh, uh, Miskatonic Museum, which was a, a much bigger cakewalk because the uh, hunting horror just didn't get that big. Um, so we were able to finish that before we even advanced to Agenda 2B, which uh, would uh, not really do much. It would just add a doom to the hunting horror. Um, so that's not too big of a deal. Uh, it was already in play at that point. Uh, I did not re realize that the uh, Miskatonic uh, uh, exhibit hall, the restricted hall, said that the, while the hunting horror is at this location, it cannot be investigated. I have in the past just engaged him and moved him out into the museum halls to do the fight there. But once he's massive, you can't do that anymore. That doesn't work that way. So um, I am glad that uh, that all went the way that it went. Uh, we snuck through with that amazing elder sign pull with skids. Uh, I hope you had as much fun watching this as I had fun playing it. I will be recording and sending along another episode very shortly of the Essex County Express, a very exciting and tension-filled scenario as well. So uh, we uh, managed to earn a grand total of one, two, three, four XP in this scenario, uh, barring any other bonuses we might get. Uh, 
and that 4 XP is going to go to good uh, good use. I imagine Davey, Daisy will probably uh, start to deal upgrade her glyphs, uh, and uh, I think that uh, Skids is going to spend his four to get a little bit more oomph on his firepower. So um, that's going to be the plan for now. Uh, I thank you for joining me. This has been I've Got a Plan. You can reach me on Facebook at I've Got a Plan Podcast. You can reach me on uh, the Discord uh, for either Mythos Busters or the Drawn to the Flame podcast as Huckman T. Uh, I'm also available on SoundCloud. The audio podcast version of uh, I've Got a Plan is uh, updated uh, weekly on SoundCloud, and that is Tim Paul, P A U L, on SoundCloud, or you can also search for I've Got a Plan, Tim Paul. Uh, and um, you can also email me anytime at tpfiscus, F-I-S-C-U-S, at gmail.com. Uh, it's been a pleasure playing for you, and let's get together soon and have fun. Mm-hmm.